And then when it came to the not guilty verdict, uh, Jerry Hutch has been stoic and silent throughout this whole thing and has always kept his eyes in the direction of the judges and on this particular occasion did the same thing. But I, I noticed that he briefly nodded his head, uh, seemingly in the direction of the judges. Um, I don't know whether that was a thank you or whatever, but he nodded his head. What happened next uh, it just surprised me because we were all sort of standing there watching Jerry Hutch and kind of wondering, right, well, are they going to bring him out the back? Are they going to? But it's important to state that we, from that moment on, when he was found not guilty, he is no longer a prisoner. He's no longer the responsibility of the Irish prison service. So he's free to go. And that's exactly what happened. He walked out from the dock and he walked right in our direction. Uh, and as I was walking out of the courtroom, Jerry Hutch was actually walking behind me. It was a very strange experience of walking. <laughs> very strange experience after you've watched this man uh, for 13 weeks sitting in the dock and going back out with the prison service out of a particular door, that he's suddenly coming out the same door as, as us. Um, and next thing we know, we're walking with him, uh, surrounding him, no one really quite knowing what to do. Are we allowed to ask him for comment there inside the building? Kind of generally frowned upon to do that. So <laughs> no one no one really did say anything to him. A couple of people shook his hand, uh, members of the public, and uh, he first waited at the lifts, and then he decided he wasn't going to take the lifts, and he went down the steps, public steps. We all followed him down the steps, r running after him. Uh, at this point, uh, some reporters did feel uh, to it was appropriate maybe to ask him, um, "Your any reaction to the verdict? How does it feel to be a free man? Do you feel vindicated?" He didn't respond to any of that. He did look at several reporters who asked him questions, but never uh, entertained them with any kind of a response he got down then to the second level um uh, which is where that that area where the the uh, where you can get food and drinks mm -hmm. and he kind of meandered around there for a bit it seemed like he didn't know where he was going he was the members of his legal team were with him but there didn't seem to be any kind of kind of clear plan and you would expect given the level of security he's a he's a you know, he's still a target for the Kinahan cartel. And I mean, there's a huge police operation in place, armed guardy around. Um, but he's wandering around, didn't seem to know what he was doing, then went uh, kind of over uh, to the chairs, um, seemed to sign something uh, for a particular reporter who I won't identify, and gave him uh, the sheet of paper and then walked off uh, out of a door, out a door into a smoking section. And then... Um, disappeared for a bit i was brought through another particular door and then we thought right he's coming out the side gate now generally speaking uh when you walk out the courts most if not everybody has to walk out the front doors of the court um but you remember when patrick hutch was acquitted yeah. uh sorry when the nala prosecute was entered for patrick hutch uh he walked out the side door he was facilitated in that which was very unusual so we thought that's what was going to happen with jerry hutch we all ran up to the side door we're all standing there for a while and then it kind of became apparent maybe he's not going to come out the side door some of us started running back towards the front entrance um this stage the Byrne family came out that is uh, sadie Byrne, the mother of the mur murder victim david Byrne, and um some other members of the family they didn't want to engage didn't want to speak uh told the media to leave them alone and to go away and i would say like maybe a minute or two after that not very long after that very very shortly after that Jerry Hutch himself came out the front doors of the court, which was just extraordinary. No one expected that to happen, uh, given the weight, the gravity of all of this, uh, that he would walk straight out. And it was a bizarre sight and an absolute media frenzy. I've never seen a media frenzy or circus like it. I mean, there was just a, everyone's just pushed forward right at him, screaming and shouting. And look, I'm a short man, so I can't really get my camera above certain people's <laughs> shoulders, but I tried my best. And then we all sort of kind of just, I guess chased him up the street uh he walked up infirmary road and again meandering about stopped several times turned around several times sort of looked a bit confused at times it looked like he was going to stop and give like a impromptu press conference at one point he actually did seem to stop like and he was about to say something and then it's like as if he thought better of it and then said nothing and then continued to walk and we're like where the fuck is he going <laughs> and then eventually realized he was trying to find a taxi which a taxi sort of kind of just apparated on the road no one was paying any attention because they were just i mean at one point reporters and members of the public are surrounding him in the middle of the road i mean it was just pe people honking their horns and screaming at him and there was one uh man who was actually in the presence of jerry I don't think jerry knew him but he was telling everybody to back off and leave the poor man alone and all this and uh like, people were just at them 
you know, how's the field to be free? It wasn't like he was being asked anything particularly. How's the field to be free? You know, what's it like? You know, but he clearly didn't want to talk. Got into the back of the taxi and that was it. But, you, sorry, uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, just crazy. Are you telling me, did the journalist ask him for an autograph? No, 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 no. Sorry, I probably implied that. No, I think somebody might have got a phone number or something. Uh, I don't know what it was, but uh, it, it wasn't me anyway. But uh, I don't oh, know. I, 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 I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I uh, maybe I shouldn't speculate on that. <laughs> well, no, I, I was sitting there going, "Job's yeah. gone." <laughs> but that's fine. If it wasn't, no, that's no, good. it wasn't. Although there was, a, 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 there, there were people trying to a, a woman tried to approach him in the courts of seemingly a member of the public, and she was trying to get a selfie. You know, and it was like so it had to be oh. explained to her. I think by a member of staff, so like you can't be taking pictures inside the court building. You know, so there you go. But uh, I, right. I just, I just so, don't think anybody expected that to happen no. 